Central Connecticut, Plainville, Forestville, here we are. Really glad that you're here today. And this is a special Sunday because it is our Rededication Sunday. And we're excited about you being here. We're excited about those who may be watching online. We're just excited because God is good. And all the time, it sounds like you know what you're talking about this morning. So I've kind of warned a few people that if I start leaning a little bit for them just to come and prop me up, because it's been a long day for me. But, you know, sometimes we have days like that. Sometimes we have days like that. So we've got a couple of announcements we want you to be aware of. I'm going to ask Tracy to come and share with us for the food and diaper drive and anything else that she thinks is important for you to know. And I'm going to stand right here with her. That way I won't have to switch off this microphone. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Gloria Day. <laughs> Walter Anderson sends his hellos. He misses you all. We miss Walter. So say hi to Walter. Hi. Hey, Walter. You heard it, Walter. We miss you. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, we had to change the date for yesterday's food and diaper distribution because we expected high winds and a lot of rain. Thank you, meteorologist. <laughs> so we uh, changed it to next Saturday, which is um, October 10th. And we'll be distributing food and diapers from 10 to 12 p.m. We'd love some more volunteers to help us set up the tent and bring all the food out. And when you go out in Pearson Hall, you'll see all the bags of food are already packed and ready to go. And we go through almost every single bag. So that's the volume of people coming through our parking lot. Tracy, it's October 8th. October 8th. Don't come on the 10th. <laughs> the 10th for making the exercise. Thank you. Mary Jane corrected me. October 8th. OK, and then on October 10th, we're going to be making apple pies for the fall fair. So if you want to help us make some apple pies, we would love to have your help. Bring a paring knife and if you have an apron and um, prepare to get apple slimed. <laughs> but we're going to start at 9 a.m. until um, we've made about 75, 80 pies. And um, we're also taking orders for apple pies, chicken pot pies, what else are we taking more just for? Oh, corn chowder. Corn chowder. Call me, text me, email me, 860-620-4166, or carlsonta505 at comcast.net. OK? And you can place an order or put, a sign, you know, put your name and uh, numbers on the sign-up sheet in back. OK? So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So here's my plan. And I practiced this years ago when I first got married. I, my mother would love to bake. So I went to her house because I knew she was making some apple pies. And I picked up all of the peelings and brought them to my house. And then I put the pie that she had put together and I put it in the oven to make it look like I had made this pie. <laughs> it, it didn't work. But um, so this sounds like some wonderful things are happening here and I'm excited and the, the um, hall looks beautiful. For those of you, you still have time to hasten on over here to Gloria Day to join us in our rededication service and our potluck gathering right after. So you still have some time. And even if you come just for the potluck, we'll be glad that you came. So we're glad that you're all here. As a reminder on Wednesdays at 12 noon, we do have a noonday prayer on Zoom. And again, you can just Zoom in. You don't have to say anything. You can keep your camera off. You can just listen. And it is always encouraging to hear other people praying about some of the same things that you're praying for. And you're also invited to join us on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 for our Bible study as we continue to study the book of Acts. So some good things are happening here. And before we go into our hymn, I'm going to ask my new helper today, Abby, if she would come up and help me for a moment. Perfect example of how we need to come into church. You wanna grab somebody there? <laughs> no. 
So Abby has a message for the children, and I'm going to kind of bend down a little bit to make sure that, actually I'm going to take this off to make sure that her message is heard online as well. At least I think I'm going to, yeah, okay. So Abby, there's somebody here with you. Do they have a message for us? Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Abby, was that frog saying happy birthday or happy birthday? Both. Both. But whose birthday is it? Everybody. Everybody. So Abby and the frog are wishing happy birthday to anybody and everybody who's ever had a birthday, especially to those who are watching online. Abby, thank you so much for bringing the frog to help us today. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Let's give Abby a hand to helping us today. So now when you go to your birthday celebrations, you can sing happy birthday to anyone. And they should, you know, okay, 